Hey guys, I'm Jane Dupree, and today I'm showing you a highly requested video how to shoot over another ball. So let's say we're playing nine ball, so let's put those away. Uh, we need to make the one ball, and our cue ball is like this. So I'm going to show you several different scenarios like this, just so you can get a full like view of absolutely everything. What a lot of people do when they have this situation they don't really think, and they just hit it, and then they don't, they may make it, uh, but then you don't really get a good plan ahead and you have to bank it. But if you're not good at banks, then you're in trouble. So you never want to rush a shot like that. I'm surprised I made that. Uh, but rushing a shot either puts in a miscue or a miss hit. So you either miss it or miscue. So, the proper way to shoot these, instead of just whipping it out like that, is, let's move this over a little bit, it's not like you're going to shoot it regularly to find your shooting line, and then you can just elevate slowly, you can just move your hand up until you're like this, and then you can hit it properly, and then you can bounce back for an easier shot onto the two ball. Uh, so that's shooting over a ball like that. So you want to start down. Let's put it at a different angle now. Start. Let's give ourselves like an actual shot. I may, I may miss it, but probably not. So actually get down first. And you kind of can stroke through the cue. Elevate as much as you need to. Get the good shot, pop back out for the eight to the side. Uh, the thing is with these shots, people tend to over, over elevate. And it just makes it harder on themselves and it makes it easier to miss the ball. So you only need to, the important part about getting down and then slowly moving up is finding how much you actually do need to elevate to make the shot. Because uh, if you over elevate, that puts your arm in an uncomfortable position, and you definitely do not want to be in that position. So this is the same thing for shots on the rail. Uh, some people try to shoot these level. You can shoot it level. It's a little uncomfortable. But oh, I forgot to show you another way you can shoot these shots with the tripod bridge. So what that looks like is. It's a couple fingers back for support, uh, like, like that. I usually put two fingers in front, two fingers in the back, and I bridge my hand up. It's called a tripod bridge because it kind of looks like a tripod. So you can use that when you're on the rail as well. So if you're over here, instead of hitting, you may miss cue if you hit level. So you want to kind of jack up in the back but not too much, remember. So start at level and then slowly raise up so you can get a nice even hit on your cue ball. And make sure you're chalked up when you're shooting these because you still have the potential to over elevate, I mean under elevate and miss cue. So you don't want to under elevate because then you're miss cue, but you do not want to over elevate because then that makes the shot real uncomfortable and you have that high chance of missing it. Unless you swing around and get lucky, then you're not going to make the shot. So, different example. Let's do it over a pocket. This is a very uncomfortable position for some people. So I'll put a ball like that. So again, you can use that tripod bridge. Start off level. Let me move that back. Start off level. Elevate only as much as you need to. Get that nice smooth hit, make sure you don't scratch on straight end shots. Automatically, when you're shooting those jacked up shots, you're going to be putting follow on the cue ball, you're going to be putting top spin. So if the shot is straight in, definitely watch out for the scratch. You're going to have to hit to one side or the other on the object ball to avoid that. Uh, but if that's what you have to do, that's what you have to do. So on any shot, get down, level, and raise up only as much as you need to. 
where it's comfortable. If it's uncomfortable, you want to get back down, start everything over, and go until it's comfortable. Use that tripod bridge or your open bridge. You can use your open bridge like this or your tripod bridge like this. I don't even know if you can see my hand. Oh uh, yeah, you could. Uh, but let's move on to a different example. So one thing I did not talk about in that little segment right there, actually let me switch these out, was like the actual shooting form. You want your shooting form to remain the same. You still want to follow through. A lot of people when they shoot go like that when they shoot shots over balls. Uh, and that's not a good habit to make. I've shot, this is an easy shot I've set up here, so I'm probably going to make it, but you never want to do that because you could lead to a miscalculation like that. So definitely do not swing your arm in the air uh, like that. That may put some false spin on your cue ball. If you put right spin on your cue ball, it'll deflect off to the left. So you definitely do not want any of that deflection. If you haven't seen my video on deflection, go check that out. Let's say if this was further away, like that. This, if you go, you're probably going to miss. You see how it swerved off to that right side. Uh, we want to make sure that we aren't applying that much spin. And you're still going to get some spin when you put the top spin on. That's what makes this a tough shot. So let's see if we can make this. If it curves a little bit, uh, it sometimes will curve a bit, but you're going to have to compensate for that. But that is the easiest way. Uh, so let's move on to an actual example now. Okay, so let's say we are in this position. Let's put the two right there. Uh, and our cue ball is behind the seven. The seven's pretty close to the rail. So we're trying to make the two, uh, but it's a difficult shot over the seven. If you just went at it real fast, you would probably miss cue. So you need to take your time and go through the steps that I instructed you on earlier. Let's move that back. So you have two options here. The first option I'm not real comfortable with is tripod bridge. Uh, you can put it close to the ball, but I'm not comfortable with it, so I'm most likely not going to make it. Which brings up a good point. I cannot tell you what bridge to use for which shot because it all depends on if you are comfortable with it or not. If I'm comfortable with it, you may not be comfortable with it. Uh, if you're comfortable with it, I'm not comfortable with it. There's a lot of different combinations, but whatever you're comfortable with, that's what you need to go with. Uh, and this is my comfortable shot. The open bridge on the rail, like this. That will make the ball a lot more for me. Just starting off with that level cue and then following through using that correct amount of topspin. And the thing about using topspin and jacking up, elevating the back of our cue, if you actually put any spin, I'm putting right spin on this one, it kind of curves. So I was aiming off on that two ball. I compensated. That's what you call aiming in a different direction to, well, I can't really find a synonym for compensate, because the spin will take it a different way. So if we aim to make this ball right now, we're going off to the right, since there's a bunch of right spin and top spin on that ball. That's the problem with elevation and side spin. Now I'm gonna aim to make it and put left spin on our cue ball. Left spin doesn't affect it that much. You have to aim pretty full ball to make it, and the harder you hit, the less the spin takes. The slower you hit, the faster it takes. So now I'm gonna aim to make it and use real slow. So you see all that spin's taken and it actually brings it over to this other pocket right here. So again, I would use the open bridge and then just slightly elevate, only elevate as much as you need to. Avoid using a lot of side spin because that throws it off majorly. And it's really, really, really hard to judge when you have that much side spin on. Uh, so do what's comfortable for you. Tripod's not comfortable for me. So I'll do open on the rail. Go over my cue ball, make sure you don't miss cue. Hit low enough, but not too low, because then you'll hit the seven ball. That's another thing, make sure you do not ball foul. What I mean by that is like after you strike the cue ball, don't hit the seven when you, like if you pull back your cue, you're probably gonna hit the seven and that is a foul, uh, and the ref will get you 100% of the time. 
Thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did, please click the like button down below, like the video, share it with your friends if you think they'd like it. Uh, if you want to be notified when I post a new video, you can click the subscribe button and then the bell icon right next to it. That'll just send you an email and a notification saying that I've uploaded a new video. Thank you guys so much for 13,000 subscribers. Y'all have clicked that subscribe button 13,000 times. It's about 13,100 now, uh, but that is absolutely insane. I cannot thank you guys enough for that. Uh, so if you have any questions, leave them down in the comment section below. If you have any tutorial requests, you can leave those down in the comment section below as well. I'll be sure to do them. This was a request, I think, by Michael Lepperman. Lepelman. I cannot remember exactly. Uh, but thank him for this request. Again, any questions, any further requests, leave them down in the comment section below. Wow. I just missed that. But thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video.